Denise Gwen, reading aloud for you for my short story, The Greasy Spoon, chapter 42. He didn't hear a sound. He stood in the doorway for a moment and then an idea popped into his head. Clem drove the second truck. He might have a set of keys on him. He set Clem's rifle down on the grass next to Junior's, then bent down and riffled through the dead man's pockets. He found Clem's billfold, tossed it to one side, and then he found a set of keys. They were hooked on a chain and he pulled them free and stuffed the wad of keys into his other back pocket. He patted Clem down gingerly, checking for any other weapons, but came up empty. He was starting to think that maybe, just maybe, he might get out of here alive. And if that were true, then he needed the keys to Ed's car. Fuck. Where was Maria? Had Jeb taken her hostage? Well, first the keys. His thoughts were a disordered mess. He wanted to find Maria, but he needed his escape kit in order before he attempted a getaway. And he really wanted to find her, but before he went searching for her, he needed to get Ed's keys. And yes, Maria did worry him, but she was a smart girl. She'd know where to hide, right? Where Jeb couldn't find her? And if Jeb did happen to find her, if he found her alone, wouldn't he leave her be? No. What's better than one dead undocumented Mexican? Two dead undocumented Mexicans and two dead lawyers. <laughs> Jeb Jr. had killed Lupe. Perhaps the father possessed a kinder heart? Yeah. And what other tall tales do you have to share with us, Nick Adams? And then it hit him, the reality. I have to get Ed's keys.